Today, I will read Tops and Bottoms, written by Janet Stevens, and I will give you some ideas for fun activities to do at home to learn more about money. Hello, I'm Jill Chalowa from University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension, and welcome to UW Money As You Grow book read. Today's story, Tops and Bottoms, is about two animal characters, a landowner, bear, and a farmer hare. Hare turns his bad luck around by going into business with his neighbor bear who lives down the road. After I finish reading, we'll go through a few questions and talk about some activities that you can try at home to discuss lessons and themes in this book. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all the bear wanted to do is sleep. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although Hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to the bear to pay off that debt. Hare and his family were in very, very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was asleep. Hello, Bear, wake up. It's your neighbor Hare, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. Ugh. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, we're in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Huh, said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Ooh, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half, Hare. Right, tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. Bear slept as the crops were growing. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up Bear, you get the tops and I get the bottoms. Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. They plucked off all the tops, tossed them into the pile for the bear, and put the bottoms aside for themselves. Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now, Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season, I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. 
when it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up bear, you get the bottoms and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for bear and put the tops in his own pile. Bear looked at his pile and he scowled. Hare, you cheated me again. But Bear, Hare said, you wanted the bottoms this time. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me twice and you owe me one season of both the tops and the bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair that you get both tops and the bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and they weeded. Then they watered and weeded some more. <laughs> Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up bear, this time you get the tops and the bottoms. There in front of the bear's house lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every single corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and he watched. See bear, you get the tops and you get the bottoms. I get the middles. Yes sir bear, it's a Done deal. By now, Bear was wide awake. Oh, that's it, Hare, he hollered. N from now on, I'm planting my own crops and take the tops, the bottoms, and the middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and they hopped down the road toward home. Bear never slept through a season of planting and harvesting again. Hare bought back his land with the profits from the crops and he and Mrs. Hare opened up a vegetable stand. Although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. The end. Well, great. So what did you think? The Hare family did not have any money or land. Instead, they worked together and they used all of their skills. What skills did they use to grow the food? Why did Bear let the Hare family do all of the work? How did the bear feel when he was tricked by hair? Have you ever felt this way? How do you think hair and his family felt at the end of the story? And what lesson did the bear learn from the hair? Here's an activity that you could do that looks at food as one of the resources that we all need. You can take a large sheet of paper and make three different columns. Label each column, tops, bottoms, or middles. Together as a family, write down all of the different fruits and vegetables that could fit into each group. Which ones are your family favorites? Another thing to do is look in your kitchen cupboard, pantry, and your refrigerator, do you have more tops, bottoms, or middles in your house? 
Here is the tricky part though. Sometimes tops, bottoms, and middles can come in a can, can come in a box, and they even can come in a bag. Thank you so much for joining me today. We hope that you'll join us next time for another UW Money As You Grow book read. Bye-bye.